the right 340. A relieved Boris Johnson believes the scales have tipped back in his favour. He may have been fined by police, but he wears his law-breaking lightly. And at this honey factory in Wales today, now free of the Met investigation, the Prime Minister knows coming next down the line is Sue Gray's report into lockdown parties, which is expected to name and shame senior government officials. Well, I'm very grateful to the Met for their, uh, their work. I thank them for everything that they've done. I think that we, we just need to wait for, uh, for Sue Gray to report and then, uh, as I've said, I'll be... Uh, fingers crossed that will be uh, very soon and I'll be saying some more next week. And can you guarantee that that report will be as transparent as possible and that Number 10 won't be blocking any names from being released? Uh, that will be entirely up to uh, Sue Gray. Weeks after writing her report, Sue Gray's silence will soon be broken. Um, I am not necessarily a patient person. But ITV News understands senior civil servants are trying to get the report anonymised, with more details expected about their role in lockdown gatherings. But while we understand Sue Gray does not intend to name junior officials, some of them are angry at the handling of the police investigation, believing they have received more fines than some of their bosses and indeed the Prime Minister himself. One member of staff here told me, I'm shocked the PM only got one fine, to say how many speeches he gave out at several events and how many he stayed for a drink at. But for Boris Johnson, it's his party and the public he ultimately needs on side. This Tory MP wanted him gone a month ago, but now... Only having one fine for the birthday cake incident, it's far better than any of the pundits had predicted. If Sue Gray is not too damning, I think the Prime Minister is probably in the clear. Here in Sutton Coalfield, where the Tory MP has called for the PM to go, it is constituents whose opinions matter most. People just hear it and just forget it. And moving on, the people have got other things to think of. I don't think people will just let this go now. People have been suffocated with it that much, saturated with it, they'll probably just let it go and not realise the significance of it. And however significant Sue Gray's report, it is with voters where Boris Johnson will discover whether or not he'll come unstuck.